Welcome to Tech Brother the Damir. In this video, we are going to understand uh, how to use the rank transformation in mapping data flow in Azure Data Factory. So, first of all, we'll understand uh, how the rank and dense rank work in T-SQL, and uh, then we are going to implement the same thing in the Azure Data Factory. So, let me take you to the SSMS, uh, and here uh, I have the data called the total sailor. So, I'm going to select some data, and uh, actually, we are going to select entire data set uh, because this uh, table has uh, 12 records or something 11 now you see that it has 11 records right here and uh, now we have um, um, let's say if we have item sold and I want to rank it uh, so I want to get like numbering so in this case uh, now we have one item sold two items sold you know uh, right here we have three items sold so let's say I want to rank that uh, like how many different items I have sold uh, in according to ranking uh, or I want to give the ranking to the region uh, so here we have three regions uh, so maybe I just want to say uh, region one got first rank second rank and th third rank uh, so we are creating some numbering depending upon the sorting order uh. so here uh, let's say if I select everything from this table then I will say rank uh, over order by item sold ascending and I give the name called the rank by say uh, item sold here items sold now and then uh, you are going to say from the table so you see right there was uh, happening here now for the item sold one and item sold two it gave the rank one then uh, for all those items sold the item two items sold for each of different uh, customers it gave the rank three now, if you notice here, it missed that uh, be the two between it. Uh, so, uh, because these are the first two ranks given to it, uh, and then uh, it is using three rank uh, for all these. Uh, now, this uh, it is not going like a, after two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then. Uh, so, it is uh, just given the same rank uh, to all those values because they are same values. Uh, and then uh, going to the next uh, uh, number. So, it missed all that uh, four, five, six, and went to the seven. Uh, so that's how the rank is going to work. So you know that uh, if the value is same, you got uh, given the same rank, but uh, next uh, is going to jump uh, to the other uh, number here. That uh, we can, uh, uh, if you want to give consecutive or numbers or all that, that's possible by using dense rank. I'm going to show you. Now here uh, we gave the rank uh, with the, according to the item sold. Uh, now also we can do with the, let's say, region. Uh, so that's possible. And now what you will have, you will have... Uh, right here so you have asia it gave a rank one to asia then uh, it uh, because asia is uh, uh, four times then uh, it is going to go to the number five here and europe starting and then uh, north america now and the same thing uh, if uh, i was showing you here uh, as we did the items sold let me take the item sold here so now if you want to go descending, you can do that as well, wherever the order by goes here, you know. So you can do that, no problem at all. Let me just change this. Okay, so if uh, you want to go descending, you can see that now the item sold 10, and uh, it given rank 1, 7, 2, and then we have uh, the same number 5 uh, twice, uh, so it gives 3, and then uh, jump to the next number here for the rank, you know. But uh, if we want to go with the dense rank, uh, what's going to happen uh, it's gonna give a uh, see for one and two it gave a uh, rank uh, one and two and then uh, went to the number two even uh, the numbers are staying uh, the same here so item sold uh, see uh, there are uh, for all these twos uh, it gave uh, the rank in two and then uh, for it went uh, for the third one when the number change uh, so you can create these uh, dense rank uh, um, here or uh, if you want to create the, the rank you can do that as well so depending what you need uh, according to the criteria now if I run uh, run uh, sorry uh, rank and uh, dense rank together so you might uh, you know it might help uh, to see the data in parallel so see right there that's the difference uh, so first one is coming from the rank and you see that uh, for the values one it has a uh, rank one and then uh, for dense rank uh, it has a uh, well same thing here and uh, now what happened uh, uh, right there now, when uh, for the rank, uh, the next values come with the different value. It gave them the rank uh, and jumped to the uh, the number. So it depends upon the first values, like how many values you have right there. So there was two, and then it jumped to three, and then keep giving three to all these uh, numbers here, and then uh, jump to the six because of the adding all that. But in the dense rank, you see that. Uh, so we have one, and then 
after that uh, it did not break the sequence uh, so for the next uh, numbers uh, it is given them uh, two and then uh, it is given them to, for the next one uh, three so it is uh, uh, going that way so you got the idea how the rank and uh, this the dense rank works uh, and uh, if you need this one or you need uh, the dense rank output uh, the same thing can be done in the Azure data factory so here I have my total sale uh, file table sorry file and uh, let's go to edit and this is uh, the same uh, type of data what we see in the total sale uh, table uh. so instead of uh, writing a query you're gonna be writing uh, your data flow transformation here let's go to the Azure data factory here go to data flows and the new data flow now we'll go to the add add source and here uh, we'll select uh, the blob story to create our data source uh, sorry data set select the limited file and then we are going to create a new linked service and we'll provide subscription then we will provide our storage name our link service is created now navigate to the input folder and here you're going to choose a total sale file now this has the header and yeah let it connect and import the schema that's fine now what we are going to do next we are going to click right there and bring a rank so once uh, we have the rank here, now we can uh, pretty much the same thing what I showed you. So first of all, if you want to implement case sensitive, that's uh, possible. So if you see my data here, let's say region has uh, some of the Asia capital, some are small and all that. If you want to implement uh, uh, the rank and uh, according to the case sensitivity, you can do that as well. So in this case, uh, we don't have that. Now, what we are going to do here, first of all, we are going to use a rank. So I am going to say here, uh, let's say items. I, items sold and RN rank or RNK. Okay. And then here you will select the, the column. So remember that we did the, the same thing uh, in the query. So item sold. So if you go, let me take you back here and item sold them. So we are, we are providing rank over and then this is the column which we are sorting. Now, same thing what we are doing here, it is also as, as can provide us a column that you would like to sort and then provide ascending order or descending. So we have done that in T-SQL. So depend which you, you know, works for you or what you want to make it work. Now hit the data preview, refresh, and it should create a new rank column for us according to our sorting condition. So you can see right here, it created uh, this uh, sold item uh, rank and you can see that uh, for uh, item sold one and one, uh, see right there, uh, this is one and one, it kept the same uh, rank here and then it jumped to the third uh, and then uh, created, uh, you know, the other uh, rank in uh, uh, numbers. Uh. Now, what we can do here, uh, let's say we are here in the rank and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, after this rank, uh, let's provide a dense rank as well. Uh. So I choose the rank transformation again and uh, here uh, we will uh, say dense rank. Okay. So if you want to, you know, create multiple of them, you can do that as well. So here uh, in the dense rank, uh, I'm going to use the same uh, sold, uh, item sold and then ascending as well. And we should be all good here. Now we can preview the data and it is the same data I just showed you here in the SQL with the dense rank. Um, so right there. So the only part is going to come, the numbers are not going to be skipped in the dense rank that are skipped in the rank function. So that's the big difference between them, how you are ranking them. Also, you can use multiple columns. And here is our dense rank column added to it. And this is our items sold rank. So these two columns I just added. So you can see right there. So you can use rank to add um, just the rank function if you want to add the dense rank is just click on this uh, and it will uh, make this a dense rank uh, now also I was uh, telling you like there is multiple columns we can add here and the same options that we have here let's say you want to be like another column here maybe uh, region or something like that you know so that's possible you know and uh, the same options available are in the uh, your data factory so in this case, uh, if I want to go ahead and add another column and uh, made them part of the sorting. So especially in the in this case, uh, let me take you back to the uh, my SQL and uh, this could be one of the scenario like a region and country. So if you are doing region here now, then you're doing country for the second one. So that makes sense because then you are going to be like uh, have a see right there country and then uh, 
uh, for Asia, India, then Asia, Pakistan, and all that, and you want to rank them different. Uh. So you have the same option here uh, to choose the columns, uh, multiple columns. Uh. So that works fine, but in our case, uh, we are good to for now, and uh, we don't need to add more columns here. We did uh, add a rank here, dense rank, and now I'm going to just go to the sync and write this entire data to the CSV file. Uh. Let's click a new blob storage and then CSV file and uh, select the link service. Yes, it will have header. And now go to the output and uh, hit OK and uh, no schema. Hit all right here, uh, settings, go to single file and uh, set single file and here provide the name of it. Uh, so rank underscore dense rank dot csv okay so this should be all good and it's called data flow 3 and uh, we are going to go to the pipeline a new pipeline and the, in the pipeline we are going to drag this uh, data flow let's uh, execute and it should create the csv file with two more columns one will have rank data uh, according to the item sold uh, ascending and then the other one will have uh, the dense uh, rank in uh, for item sold and order was uh, ascending as well our data flow and pipeline has been uh, uh, completed with success. So let's go and take a look. Uh, here I'm going to go to the output container and then we are going to look for the file. So rank and dense rank, that's our file. Edit and uh, you can see that uh, item sold the rank and dense rank has been added. Uh, and you can see the values right there. Now let's preview and uh, that should give us some more uh, you know, uh, details here. So as of now, you can see right there, uh, that's uh, where it started and uh, you, know, you can see the numbers. Uh, so with the rank, it is going all the way to the 12. And with the dense rank, uh, it is going to the all the way to six. Um, so I hope uh, this uh, makes sense, uh, what we did here, and uh, you will be able to use uh, in different scenarios where you need to rank uh, or uh, provide the dense rank in, uh, for your data and uh, to the maybe writing to the SQL table or CSV file and all that. Uh, I thank you for watching my videos uh, and uh, appreciate it. And uh, please go ahead and subscribe my channel. I will see you guys in the next video.